what's up everybody welcome back to another video uh, today we're going to be teaching you how to install to download and install viewpoint v uh, this mod is by rush land party hope i'm saying it right uh great guys in my discord server but yeah this is an official tutorial sponsored by the mod uh we're going to get right into it so what you want to do is come down to the patreon mind you all the links of every tab that you see open right now uh, everything is going to be in the description below in order that you probably need to download it in. Um, you should already have OpenIV and WinRAR downloaders. It's something that you can use to open your zip files. Um, but the first thing you want to do is come here, download the single player version of this Viewpoint V. Um, you want to upgrade to unlock and that's when you will um, go to the pack. You know, go to the payment details and unlock it. It's going to take you straight there. Once you finish downloading that, you should have it open up in your WinRAR, which I said download here. It's going to be a zip file thing. It's free. Don't worry. You don't have to pay for anything ever. Basically, when it opens up, you're going to see Viewpoint V here. You want to leave that alone for now. This mod is here so that the head doesn't get in the way of the camera um, while you're in first person mode. You're going to want this, so don't skip over it. Download this. Once you get it, throw the dismemberment file into your GT5 main directory. It should look like this. Dismemberment ASI. For the reason of monetization, I am going to put this link in the description as no head mod. That's what I'm going to say. The no head mod. So dismemberment ASI, add that to your GT5 main directory. Mind you, if you need game support for any of this, there's paid game support in my Discord server. Make sure you join that Discord server and make sure you open up a ticket. Uh, like I said, it is paid game support for this. It would be $10 for me to help you install this one-on-one -on -one session. The next thing you're going to need is scripthookv.net. And this is the nightly version of the regular scripthookv. Okay, so you're, you're going to come here. Mind you, this link is going to be under the description. Um, you're going to come here. You're not going to download any of this. You're going to download this one. The very top one right here where it says scripthookv.net, the zip file folder, basically, right? It's going to show, you know, the, uh, the file size for this file. File. you're gonna download that once you download it and it's just gonna pop up and once you scroll down you're gonna see all the script to be you should also have the regular script to be I'm not gonna tell you about this you can find that out in another video or you know just for yourself if you're modding there's certain things you should know you should have you know what I mean all the script hook v.net files are gonna be right here um, like I said just add these only you don't have to worry about anything else once that done you can exit out of that um, and that's in order for viewpoint V to work, you're going to need those script hook v.net files, right? So the next thing you want to have is open IV. Obviously, if you're modding or playing LSPDFR or anything like that, you should have open IV. So I'm not going to really tell you too much about this Download it. Uh, you're going to need that, right? And then, like I said, the WinRAR, right? Okay. So let's say you have all that installed. The next point, the next thing we're going to do is install Viewpoint V itself. So you're going to click into the file. I do have an August 2023 version, but you know, it's basically the same thing. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go into the file. You're going to see a bunch of these, right? A bunch of folders. It's going to say font, uh, GTA 5 folder, and VFP animation disabler, right? You're going to install all this stuff. And as you can see, this uh, animation disabler is a OIV file. OIV files are installed through OpenIV. That's why you need OpenIV, okay? Font is also installed through OpenIV. That's why you need OpenIV, right? So you're going to open up OpenIV. Obviously, if you have never downloaded this before, hopefully you did. You know, you're going to select where your Grand Theft Auto main directory is. It's going to ask you. And then once it pops up, you're going to click Windows, start it up, and then it's going to open up for you. Once it opens up for you, you're going to click into this open space. If you don't have an open space, if it looks like this, make it open, you know, bring it open like this, right? Have that space so you can add the font OIV. You're going to drag it right over. It's going to drop it and then it's going to say package installer font font replacement for the overlay. This is the body cam overlay. You want that. If you don't install this, it's basically where it says Axon Body 3 or whatever the heck it says, it's going to basically be a bunch of random characters. It's not going to be English. You don't want that. So you want the proper font. You want it to say English, Axon, Body, whatever, you know, and it's going to, you know, have all the English, the numbers, the letters, whatever, it, you know, the overlay, the proper overlay that you see in game. So you're going to install that. And it's going to say yes, completely install, install to the mods folder. Okay, you're going to install this, 
install it to the mods folder. Once you install it, it's going to say successfully installed. You're going to close out of that. And then you can go back. This is the GTA 5 folder. This is the scripts folder. So you're going to go all the way into there, just like you see me do. You're going to go into your Grand Theft Auto main directory from the file explorer. And you're going to go into your scripts folder. If you don't have a scripts folder, simply click on this, this open space right here. This open space. You see all these files. You want to avoid those files. Go into this open space here. Right click. Hit new, hit folder, and then name that scripts folder, scripts, lowercase s. It's going to look just like this one right here. So when you're in the scripts folder, you're going to go into it, and you're going to add all these, all these files to everything, all five of them. You're going to add right over. As you can see here, I have those, right? So once you do that, you can go back out. That's done. And then you can go to the VFP animation disabler. Now, when you want to go here, you want to hit the OIV, the OIV install, not the uninstall, but the install. This is common sense. Go in there, hit install, do the same thing that you did for the fonts. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to exit out of viewpoint B because viewpoint B is completely installed at that point. All right. Once everything is installed, you can exit out of everything and go into your game and check it out. And we gonna, I'm basically going to give you a, a very mini showcase of what everything looks like. It's going to be very brief, about a one minute showcase to show you what it looks like. All right, everybody, once you're in game, it might spawn you at your house or whatnot. And it might automatically be into the mod, right? As you can see here, it just spawned me automatically in the game, right? Just like this. So I do have an extended camera mod. Uh, also working with viewpoint view but don't mind that at all by default you're going to have that little white dot on your screen i disabled mine and it can be configured um this mod can be configured through the f7 menu so you want to hit f7 on your keyboard open it up um you can configure the current camera you can toggle other cameras through your body and dash camera um it tells you you know the key bind for it and the body and dash cameras here um and for the on foot cameras it's basically the same thing as you would uh, any normal POV if you want to go to the third person or first person you want to hit that V button on your keyboard or for your controller you want to hit a that different that little that little mini view basically that little view button I don't know what it's called but it's something <laughs> basically whatever you use to go into first and third person normally that's what you would use is basically the same thing um, it just adds a different camera perspective for you um, for the body cam, you can hit page down, um, and that creates like a more, you know, like a more stable version and it's attached to the, the chest area. If you're doing the regular POV and you just hit regular V and you're on the, the head area, you can even look through the shadows and you can see that your head is cut off. That's because of this dismemberment, uh, mod. So you needed that. If you didn't have that, you would see the head and it would look bad. So it's really good. Uh, this mod is great. Um, it takes some time to get used to aiming. I'm still not completely used to aiming. I miss a lot of my shots. I'm also getting ran over constantly. <laughs> but uh, overall, it's a really good mod. Um, and it, it's perfect for realism, especially if you're doing police roleplay within like LSPDFR content creation. Um, other than that, yeah, this that's basically how you install the mod. If you need any assistance with anything or wanting to install a graphic mod or fix your files or whatnot, uh, just go ahead and open up a ticket in my Discord server. Get ready to pay for game support because it's going to be about $10 to help you install for something. And if you need to fix any files or, you know, you need some backup files or something like that, it's going to be an extra 20 okay? they're always being told to you in the discord server uh, if you need a direct quote okay so i hope you enjoyed the video and that's it for me